Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn and Sales Navigator strategist, trainer, and coach. The question is now, how do I add a certificate to my LinkedIn profile? Before I answer that question, hit that subscribe button. Lots more videos coming out on how to use LinkedIn and Sales Navigator as business tools. So some of these uh, certificate systems, uh, badging systems, certificate sharing systems, they have it built in that from their application where you see your certificate or your badge, they have the ability for you to connect to your LinkedIn account and then it'll automatically add the certificate to the certificate section under license and certificates right down here. It'll automatically add right here. I think I had one or two, I think it might have been Evernote or DDI. One of those did it automatically. Now, so again, some of them have the automatic functionality that you connect their systems to your LinkedIn account and it'll add their certificate. However, many don't. So what you need to do if they don't is you need to consider uh, these ideas. Number one is get the certificate and download the certificate as a PDF or whatever you download it as. I recommend a PDF or an image and save it on a system, whether it's your Google Docs and your Dropbox and your Box.com, wherever you can save it so you have the URL to it because you're going to need to have that URL to add a certificate manually. And then the way to do it is hit the plus under certificates, give it a name, the, the actual name of the certificate, give it the issuing organization, and hopefully it's a company that's listed on LinkedIn. I'm gonna, if I type in Microsoft, it'll, I can get Microsoft the company, and this is a test certificate. And then give it the date. If, there, if, the, if the credentials expire or don't expire, then you either check that or uncheck that, whatever's appropriate, the date and the year you got it. Now, you can put the credential ID, if there's like a number, you know, it's X3246785. Now here's the URL. This URL needs to be the URL for either the certificate on somebody else's site or the Dropbox, uh, uh, Google Doc, or box.com public sharing URL. And with that URL, you put that right there. And then when you save it, then what's going to happen is I'm going to show you when people view this credential, like click on see credential, it will go to wherever that document is saved and show that document. So you want to be, again, you need to, if you're going to do it manually, you're going to need to put it in something like Google Docs, Dropbox, Box.com, on your website, wherever you can to make it publicly shareable. You can put that URL into the credential URL. So you can see mine, I put mine on my website. So manually it can be done, but you're going to have to share that document on some site where you can get a publicly shareable URL to that document. Now that's one way to do it. Another way to do it besides, besides putting it under licenses and, and certificates or and or additional way to do it is you can put it under featured. But look, it's the same thing. Under featured, okay, if I want to put a new document, hit plus, I can go get a link to web content. I can put the link to that document right there. Let's, let's just do one for example, hit add. And then what I've got to do is I've got to give it a title, certificate for whatever. And I got, I think this 500 characters of description I can put in here. So I can put a description of that certificate so that I can then close this out and show you. I can present that certificate up here under my featured section if you want to do it that way. So under featured, or more most appropriately under license and certificates. And if you don't have license and certificates on your profile yet, it's under add section, right there under background, license and certificates. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope these ideas are helpful for you.